Hello everybody, what a day it has been. I woke up this morning to a bathtub that wouldn't drain and a dog that got sprayed by a skunk. So today I have this much time to make a video and I'm going to talk about something that me and uh, my mom were talking about earlier. She was asking me if the people who are trying to enforce this you know, can they go to heaven too? And I was like, oh yeah, they, they actually can, you know, like King Saul did. He kind of advocated for, you know, the, uh, complete and total harming of Christians. And, uh, then he became a saved man. Um, and actually I know how it feels to think like that because there was somebody that I knew that devastatingly enough, I would say, we had just found like this long history kind of track record of something they were doing, which was just kind of like not cool. And that's all I will say. Um, and the whole entire time they were claiming to be Christian. <laughs> and I just remember thinking in my car one day, God, can, can we just have our own separate corners when we go to heaven? Like, can I just go hang out with my son in this area? And then the other people that, you know, we know are believers, but we didn't really get along with them. Can they go hang out in that area? And I just remember thinking, like, how can I reconcile that? If, like, me and this person are both saved, um, how are we both going to go to heaven and just be like, oh, yeah, the, the, you know, nothing ever happened, whatever. It's all cool now. And I know forgiveness is something that we have to learn, but if you're going to sit there and say that, oh, forgiveness is easy, then you're not human, okay? <laughs> you're just not, or you haven't dealt with anything and might have been living in a cardboard box. I don't know. Anyway, so um, I just remember having that question one day, and I asked God about it while I was in my car, and when I came home, I had something I had intended to read, but as soon as I opened my Bible, and this is one of those moments where God talks to you through his word, I had just opened the Bible and for some reason, I just decided to start reading. And I was on Isaiah chapter 65 and right here in verse 17, it says this, see, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. So basically, when we have the new heavens, the new earth, and we're all perfect and everything, we're not going to remember what happened here. And whenever I've told anybody about that, they've kind of gotten a little frustrated because they're like, but I have good memories here. Well, we right now have the knowledge of good and evil that came through us, that came to us through Adam and Eve when they sinned by eating the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So when we have our new bodies and we live in a perfect heavens and earth, um, we can't have the knowledge of evil anymore. And so if our old memories have to include something in it that, you know, we observed evil things or spoke evil things or did things that are considered evil in the sight of God, um, we can't have memory of that because we won't know no evil anymore. You just have to trust that when he says elsewhere that no heart or mind has imagined or conceived the things that he has in store for those who love him, you just got to trust him in that. And so those other Christians that you're bickering with, you know, right now, or the people who are doing this thing that you just really, uh, you know, you, you, you know, you might have some bad thoughts about them or whatever. Okay. Yeah. They, they can be saved, but good thing is, is, when everybody gets there, you're all just going to forget about it. You know you're going to do the whole little men in black thing with the little clicky pin. Oop, beep, you forget, you forget. <laughs> okay, so don't worry. It's all going to be good. Okay, I needed to add one more thing. God does say vengeance is mine. I will repay. Okay, so whether people get to see how people are repaid or not, that's honestly none of our business as much as we'd like to see it. Um, God's going to do his thing, but believe me, he is a righteous and just God. So crime does not go unpunished. God also knows the heart too. So there's no such thing as I'm going to just act a fool and I'm going to just decide to repent on my last day because you don't know if, you know, a little piece of meteorite is going to fall from the sky and just land on you when you're squatting on a porta potty. Okay.